I'm troubleshooting my Delta Pro with the EcoFlow support recommendation. I got the extra battery. I did not, uh, you know, make a video on getting the extra battery and installing it. Plenty of videos on that. But I don't know if there, I was looking around, there's not a lot of videos on um, what happens because people are wondering, and I was wondering myself, when you plug in the extra battery, um, does it drain at the same rate or approximately the same rate as the main battery? Well, in my case, it was not. Um, I had both units uh, charged to 100%, but this isn't 100% now. You'll see it's 30% left in the uh, extra battery and 1% on the Delta Pro. So when I got them both at 100% and I started using it, I uh, I saw this start to drain. It was like going down to 93, it was still 100%. It was going down uh, to 84% and it was still 100%. It, it... It, it was going down to like uh, around 43%. And then it started dialing down and started using this. This started inputting into this. So what, what mine is doing, and it's doing it currently, is that if I can show you, you can see it's just outputting right now 46 watts because I have like all these devices in here draining it slowly, you know, which is not really a lot at all, right? I can turn on the space heater and really blow through it, but I'm just being gentle with it. I even got the... Uh, the fan going there too yeah <laughs> amazing right all it's taking right now i got i got a um battery pack right there i got an ipad i got an iphone iphone i got actually the camera i'm using the record right now is plugged into it and i got my uh jabra um bluetooth headset charging into this it's, you can see all the ports are all plugged in so it's one more port down there um but anyways, long story short, I, I was concerned. I was like, I I thought there was something wrong with the uh, connector in the back. I was like, I plugged it into port one and port two. Now to let you know, port one is where you plug it in when you want to plug in to update the firmware on the extra battery. So it has to be in the back of port one. But you can plug it in port one and port two, as I learned. But um, the, my firmware is, what, 1.0.1.6? It's the latest firmware from EcoFlow, and they both have the firmware update. But what they told me to do is I need to drain it completely. And I was just saying it to them, saying, hey, what, what happens if, if uh, the, this main battery goes down to zero, you know, and shuts off? Then, you know, then this one never gets used or, you know, is something wrong with the connector. But, you know, it started draining when it hit around 40-something percent. And then the and then I realized the extra battery really never lets this main battery die, right? It's, it remains at one percent. It keeps feeding input from there back into here. Whatever it's using, the extra battery's putting back in. So that's that's something kind of silly, and I didn't realize that, you know. But um, other I've I've read forums where they say, you know, the ratio's a little off. Um, you know, like by 10% or 5%. But I learned now that, um, you know, it, it does, it, it seemingly, it, it drains the main battery here, you know, all the way down to 1% left, even though there's probably some reserve or spare. But this will drain all the way down to feed this one. It won't ever let this one die, basically. That's, that's what I learned now. But um, anyways, long story short, EcoFlow support said you want to improve the ratio of the two. You got to drain them all both till the units shut down. Yep, they said till the units just pop and shut down and close. So obviously there must be some battery reserve because you don't want to drain the uh, uh, Delta Pro. You know, the batteries, lithium ion batteries completely flat. But these are phosphate batteries, and like I said, there's probably a reserve on board. That's why you can shut it completely down, they said. And then turn the power back on and charge them back up to 100%. They told me to do this cycle two to three times. 
So, of course, I'm not wasting energy and, and whatnot as best I can. I'm just charging devices. I'm running some updates on these old phones, and, and at the same time, I'm charging this unit right here. It's still 98%. This iPad is 7%. This was dead. <laughs> and that thing takes a few watts. Let's see. Is this charged now? Oh, it's charged. So it's just sitting here. Okay. Well... Anyways, yeah, I can I can blow through this a lot faster just by um, going through more devices easily. Um, I could just turn on that space heater that takes a thousand watts. I measured, or my wife's heater over there, oscillating heater that takes like eight hundred and forty watts, I believe. Yeah, I'll suck this down pretty dry, but I'm not I'm not using the power if I don't need to and just heat up the house. So I'm being as efficient as possible. Like like if you saw my short YouTube short video, I I have I have some uh, Reno G uh, solar panels now. I've unplugged that from here because each day I had it plugged in and I realized I was you know I'm trying to drain it, but in the day it was filling this thing up. But, um, you know, it was slowly losing the power. But, yeah, not as fast as I wanted to. <laughs> and I'm getting a third panel, by the way, to maximize the, um, it, the bifacial uh, Reno G panels. Um, works just fine on these. You have to set them up in series, not parallel. So you can keep the within voltage, um, com uh, voltage recommendation of the EcoFlow. Because I talked to them, they said, yeah, you can hook up any solar panel to here as long as it's between the proper voltages. But yeah, it's good to know that all it's doing is just supplying the power to the main one. So if there's any concern about that, you say, what if this shuts down and then that battery doesn't um, you know, ever get drained? Well, this thing, this extra battery will never let this go to zero. So it will just continually pass power right into all the ports. So that's kind of what it's doing now. Anyways, I hope that helps with any questions or anything. I I I, I had that question myself, so now I know. Once it once it once this hit down to one percent, basically, once this hit down to one percent, that extra battery kicked in, finally. I mean, it started kicking in at 40-something, but the ratio was massive. So that's why they said you want to um, improve the sinking, you know, within closer range, 5%, 10%. You know, they, they said drain it and then fill it back up and then drain it again and fill it back up. I mean, I'm just going to fill it back up and see how it works after, after it's completely drained. Anyways, thanks for watching.